guys welcome back to another vlog um if you're new here welcome i'm aka your host um we have a big day today we're gonna go to my mom's and we're gonna go stay over there for a few days um the weather's supposed to be like 106 degrees so <laughs> it's gonna be pretty hot but they do have a little inflatable inflatable pool that they bought I just have a few things to do around the house. I have to do some dishes and clean up a bit before we head out. I I'd rather keep the apartment clean while we're gone. I just like avoiding like having pests. Even though like our apartment building is brand new, we don't have that issue. Um, I still you know want to prevent that from happening. Um, I'm gonna do that and then yeah. <laughs> nothing more to say. Sorry. Sometimes I don't know how to do like outros to these intros <laughs> so um also my face is a bit swollen but that's just because i woke up um since moving back to the bay we've been using a dish rag and a sham to let our dishes dry and it's mostly because there's really no point in getting a dish rag at the moment um we're also kind of budgeting ourselves and kind of picking and choosing what is priority to spend money on at the moment. So we're just, you know, we wash our dishes and we lay them out to dry and then put them away as soon as they're dry. That way they're not just, sit they're not just sitting there exposed. It would take the extra mile to just like dry them by hand, but you know what? I just don't feel like doing that. I have a toddler that I have to watch over, and that is definitely not something I want to be doing. So, <laughs> for now, we're just letting the dishes dry on their own. The sun right now is doing, <laughs> giving me that day glow, <laughs> that summer glow. On my window, there's like this pink um, panel that I put on there with like, it's like a clear film, but it's like iridescent and it's just like shining in here right now because of the sun, I guess, like is in that direction right now. <laughs> but yeah, normally we don't get too much sun in here, which is nice because then the apartment gets really hot. We live on the fifth floor. Um, so, you know, heat rises. I'm enjoying this right now though. I am enjoying the way this, this light is making me all dewy and making me look. Alright, so quick update on my plants. I don't know if you can tell, there's a water drop like right on the tip of my plant. And from what I read, okay, there we go. So, I don't know if you can see that tiny water drop. So I noticed that my plant, this plant specifically, was dripping water from the tip of its leaves. And, turns out, that these um, plants, it's called like an elephant ear. So they create their own like humidity and like basically acclimate to their environment. 
and when they start creating drops like that on the tips of their leaves it's because they need water <laughs> and so they're trying to create their own moisture <laughs> so at first i was like what the fuck i was like do they just absorb water and from the air like is, is it humid enough for it to do that in here i didn't really understand what the hell was going on so i googled it <laughs> and google told me that i need to water my plant basically so I'm gonna go ahead and do that again because I watered it like a few days ago, but I guess it needs more. It's asking for it, so might as well give it to it, right? I need to do around the house i already started doing some laundry um but i need to do i need to water my plants so that's what i'm gonna do and then i gotta put away some clothes i have, I have bed sheets and pillowcases that i need to put away so i'm gonna do that and then just hang out around the house while the laundry gets done because <laughs> i pretty much cleaned before we left so you know i could chill all right all right so these are my plants that I have so far. I used to have a lot more, but then um, when we got into the accident, I my dad took most of them and I have to go get them. But it's so pretty. My mom cloned it from like another plant that she had at home. And same with these, um, with this one. They're calla lilies, I think, if I'm correct. They cloned that one too. And then I've had this one since we were living in LA like a year ago. And now, uh, oh, and same with this one. Vic got this for me when he was like out and about. And it's been growing. I, I think I'm gonna have to like switch it out of its little tiny pot. But yeah, those are the smaller plants that I have. Then there's Coco. She is a ficus uh, ginseng plant or tree. I've had her for like 10 years now at this point and i got her when she was like five years old and she hadn't changed from like this to like this ever like until i sent her off to live with my dad when i when i had to move to la um <laughs> and now she's just huge and i've i've debated whether or not i want to take this part off but i don't think so i mean it's part of it's part of coco so i'm not gonna do that i really like it I think it's beautiful that she decided to sprout a new life elsewhere in her body, so. And then, this is another plant that I had in LA. It's actually sprouted a lot of roots. I need to 
I need to replant it into dirt because she was in dirt at first, but then on our way here, moving here, she got injured. <laughs> and I was like, okay, I'm gonna see if I put her in water, if she'll grow roots back, and she has. So now I just have to switch her into an actual pot so she can start sprouting new leaves and not die on me. <laughs> but yeah, these are my plants so far, so far right now. behavior could she be like doing that is making him want to like exclude her from his circle I guess you know 